Hey guys, welcome back. It's Amanda with ALN Beauty Bar and today we are going to do some first impressions with e.l.f. face products. So I already have my eyebrows and eyes on for the most part. We'll finish them up once I get the rest of my face on, but um, if you want to see what this turns into, stay tuned. You ready? You got me running, you got me running, you got me running. So, I already have skincare on. The only e.l.f. skincare that I currently am using is this serum. Um, it's the hydrating serum, and I do use this under my moisturizer in the morning. Um, just a little added hydration. I really do like it. I'm about halfway through it. So, um, I'd recommend checking out their skincare if you are interested in getting into skincare, but on a budget, they're great. Check them out. Now for primer, the one I have here with me, um, actually, I have two here with me. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This is like the travel size I got from the travel size bin at Target. Um, I think I'll use some of that, and but then I also have the Poreless Putty, which I have not tried. So let's, we'll dip into this since I know what that other one is like and this is supposed to be a first impression, so. We'll get some of that going. Put it down. It is very smooth. It doesn't really have a scent to it, or at least not on my finger. It just smells very clean in the jar. I got enough. It kind, it kind of, Kind of reminds me of um, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I do love that. I've been through a whole one of those before. Feels good. So, first thoughts on this is it feels good. Doesn't leave the skin tacky or anything, just smooth, ready for the next step. So that's the, the poreless putty primer. So for foundation, I picked up the oil-free medium coverage flawless satin foundation. Um, and I got it in 120 pearl. It does come with a nice little pump glass packaging so it is really nice. I will be using my favorite elf sponge to apply this with. It is brand new so just getting it okay. Gotta pump out there. I'll dot it around my face. Mm, kinda has a weird smell to me but some foundations do. Maybe just a smidge light. I don't know. When I was shopping for this foundation, it's really hard to get the shade right. At least I thought it was. The target I was at didn't have a lot of them, at least on my end of the shade spectrum. But then, the packaging also makes it kind of hard to tell, like all you have is this tiny little window here in front that isn't frosted glass. So I did the best I could, I mean, it's okay. Maybe it's just lighter than I am used to, I don't know. But that does give really good coverage. Um, what does it say? Medium? Yeah, medium coverage. I'd say it's really accurate on the medium coverage part. Very satin-like. I'm gonna see if I can build it up at all. 
to cover this breakout area that I have going. I do have an under eye concealer, their camo concealer. I don't have like a spot concealer. So we'll see how this does to build up on itself. But so far, like if you can get past the smell, like it only smells right on like the initial pump. Works great. We'll see how it lasts. I mean, it builds on itself really nice. Medium leaning fall, maybe. Build it just a smidge more. I know they have a couple of different foundations. There's like an acne one and there's one for more mature skin. Um, let me know below in the comments if you've tried any of them. They also have a powder foundation. Interested to try that maybe for spring, summer, but if you've tried it, let me know also in the comments. Yeah, I really like the coverage of that. Like I said, the color looks a smidge lighter than I'm used to, but we'll make it work. Okay, under eyes. I like the hydrating camo concealer, um, and this one I'm in fair beige. I wish they had a, and maybe they do, I haven't seen it in store, and I should probably dig around on the website more, but I wish they had a corrector, an under eye corrector. That's one thing I haven't found at the drugstore in any brand is a good under eye corrector. I mean, this concealer is hands down my favorite under eye concealer. Just, I need a little bit of a corrector because I do have some blue going on underneath there. But, I mean, it, it does a relatively good job. I just, I can see it, so I'm just self-conscious of it, I guess, is my thing. But, we are our own worst critics, right? Also, this is my e.l.f. under eye sponge. Love it. Comes with its counterpart, the concealer brush. I did get that off of e.l.f.'s website. I think it's like six bucks. That's the other thing, like 90% of my brushes are e.l.f. So I recommend those whether you get them on e.l.f.'s website or Target. The beauty sponge. Alright. Got like a fucking mascara or something. Okay. I'm gonna move on to setting the under eyes. This is a leap of faith for me because I normally only use my Laura Mercier. But we'll see what they have to offer here. If I can get it open, I have the HD setting powder. Looks like this. Okay. okay, so far, like this, this is the kind of dispensing mechanism I wish that the Laura Mercier had like a like a turnstile on it. Get the sticky part out. Maybe I should have done this before I filmed, but here we are. Tap some out into the cap. Feel it with my fingers. 
fingers. Oh, like I don't know that you're gonna be able to see that, but that is very finely milled. Okay, promising so far. Take that on my on my trusty brush. Set that under eye. Not mad at it. That is very finely milled, very silky. And I'm brightening, so I'm okay with that. Did I just find a new under eye powder? Hmm. I think it was like six bucks too, so we'll take that. Okay. That's finishing. I don't feel that I need to set maybe my forehead. Just gonna take a tiny bit of this and kind of set the forehead area. All right. Okay. So while I was not on camera, I did do my eyebrows, which the elf, obviously, this is still full face of elf, uh, the, <laughs> the eyebrow pencil and taupe, tried and true. It's like three bucks. I buy like two or three of them at a time, always have them. Then this is new to me, the um, double ended lash and brow clear gel. It's not as foolproof as the benefit eye, eye gel, but eyebrow gel, but I mean, they're not moving. So, so far so good. Um, for my eyes today, I did use the Mad for Matte Jewel palette. Um, just stuck with the browns, and then I did pop on. Which one did I pop on? The liquid glitter and copper pop, over top. As we all know from previous videos of mine, the original Mad for Matte is a palette that will always stay in my makeup basket because you can mix it with different palettes to complete a look. It gives you an everyday look to a smoky look. It just, the whole gamut. Um, but this, I don't know, I this is the look that I would wear every day, but I feel that we can um, maybe add a pop of color on the bottom lash line once I get the rest of the face on. So let's take a look at that. I did pick up this contour palette. Uh, just thought it would be interesting to try here. Maybe mix these the two for a, a contour shade. I do, I did already have the bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. Just dropped that. But the bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. This is the primer infused line, love this. So we'll keep that. gonna mix a little bit of a little bit of this and a little bit of that see what we get for some contour here well it's a lot of pigment more than I was expecting a lot more than I was expecting actually pick up my fluffier brush Just really buff that out. That's 
it's actually more like a bronzer than I thought it would be, but that's kind of how I do my contour. I lay it down with a flatter, thinner brush, and then buff it out with a fluffier brush. But for as little as powder as I picked up, that is quite the pigment. But again, I'm not mad at it. Because for six bucks, if you can get this kind of pigment, go back in with a little bit of this darker shade. I'm gonna use that for bronzer instead. The Forever Sun Kissed. bad little guy for six bucks and it does have a white highlight I do I did pick up another highlight but we'll see I might dip back into that now for blush if I don't know that I've used it on here but I do have the primer infused blush this one is in always rosy and then I also have where did I put them their bite sized blushes but I kind of wanted to go back to their original packaging what are these like I think they're three dollars now but back in the day when they were three dollar or a dollar like the original OG Elf. Let's see, this one is in bright pink, if I can get it open. But just your... cool pink. And this one, it's a lighter pink, it's blushing. sparkle in it. Feeling? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I already have enough glitter on my eyeballs. So let's go in with this bright pink. out nicely it is pigmented that is for sure it looks like I have a stripe on my cheek almost but I don't pat over it with some foundation this time. There we go. Yeah, took way too much this first time much better this second cheek to process makeup you know is what it is we'll go back we'll put some more bronzer on this side we'll fix her up blend her together While I have it here, we're just going to use this for highlight. I 
this with one bright highlight. But I like it. Kind of reminds me of Nars's Albatross. finishing powder is concerned I do have one the only thing is is it's a sheer tint oh well, it looks good it looks semi translucent ish we'll try it out it might help this situation here and every pull everything together Smells just like the, the primer, just really clean. It's very soft. It did help that blush situa situation, can't speak. It is very soft. All right, mascara. I do already have a coat of this on. This is my only fail of this video. If I was in a pinch and all of my makeup got lost, like traveling, I'd buy it because it's three bucks. And at least I have ma mascara on my eyeballs. But I would not buy it for every day. There are better drugstore options. than this and then i just uh i guess we made the executive decision no uh pop of color that's okay because the lipstick i have is kind of bright not that there's a rule to makeup that says you can't have a pop of color and a bright lip i just sometimes you pick one or the other again If all my makeup was lost and e.l.f. was the only brand available to me, I would purchase the mascara because I would at least have mascara on my eyeballs. But I wouldn't know. I mean, maybe if you've never worn mascara before and you're on your babysitting budget, you can buy this. It's three, six dollars. I don't know, something like that. Like, it's affordable. I just, I've had too many mascara experiences to know what I like and this isn't what I like. So, on to lips. I have here the new... Sugar Plum lipstick from e.l.f. It's their new bullet lipstick formula. No, this isn't the only color I have. It's just the only one I grabbed. Go figure. I really do like all of their lip products. I haven't met a bad one yet, including their new lip balms, so. But I would wear this look to the office. I'd also wear it out on a night out. So, a day to night look, I guess. But overall, um, I will keep using this foundation. I really like the way it sits on my skin. Um, it oxidized a smidge, so it's to a color I like. Um, we already know I love the eyeshadow. 
Uh, this contouring palette, where'd it go? Huge win. I was contemplating buying the Dior Backstage palette. Not after I met this guy. So, that's a win there. Um, I'll continue to keep purchasing the eyebrow pencil. Oh, the one eye product I didn't talk about are these new eyeliner pens from e.l.f. I like them. They're great. Um, they're not the deepest, darkest brown and black, but I do like them. Um, the other eyeliner I like from them is their liquid liner. Re I don't know how many of those I've repurchased, but these I just saw out when I went to repurchase my liquid liner and repurchase these instead. So enjoying these very much. But anyway, so overall, e.l.f. is probably one of the most underrated drugstore brands I wish would get more recognition. So you'll be seeing a lot more of it here from me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on this video, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, ALN underscore beauty bar. Have a good day.